Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, we're going to look at the best processor, the best bang for the buck processor, or CPU, I should say, for gaming, as streaming, as well as any other heavy workloads. And we're starting right now. These are some of the questions I'm going to answer in this video. And before we kick it off, you find all the products mentioned down in the video description box. And in case you're only here for the benchmarks, I decided to leave that for last. And you find the timestamp for that down below as well. And with that said, let's look at my first go to if I wanted the best processor for both gaming, streaming or any other heavy workload for the money. Let's look at my first recommendation, the Ryzen 3600, which is based on AMD's new 7 nanometer architecture called Zen 2 which means that it's faster and more efficient than previous Ryzen processors. It's a 6 core 12 thread part with a base clock of 3.8 and max boost of 4.4 gigahertz. AMD had a few hiccups with Ryzen 3000 at launch but with recent updates Zen 2 has gotten a lot more stable and nowadays you will see this processor reaching the max boost clock very frequently. This is important because we know that high frequency means that that you're getting more FPS in your game, but it gets even better than that. Zen 2 has gotten an IPC or instructions per cycle bump as well, which means that AMD is now almost on par with Intel processors, who used to dominate the gaming department for years and years now. For those looking to upgrade, if two years ago you bought an affordable B350 motherboard for example, and let's say the Ryzen 5 1600 or the Ryzen 1500 for example, you now have the option of slotting in the Ryzen 5 3600 for up to 35% performance boost in games and at least 45% boost in applications. If we take the Ryzen 3600 and stand it against the Core i5 9400F from Intel, which is the closest blue team alternative priced around 140 US dollar. As you can see in benchmark this can also be a great alternative. As you can see it's very close here. The Ryzen however has 6 extra threads and more cash and so in my opinion it is the perfect balance between price and performance. Again against the Core i5 9400F the Ryzen 5 3600 is better when it comes to core heavy games and applications but it currently costs 33% more but in heavy applications it's often 50% faster and roughly about 30% faster in modern games. But yeah, we will be looking into more details in the benchmark section. In the end, however, it comes down to your budget and how much you're willing to spend here. What we can say for sure though is that there is no doubt that AMD CPU will age better. What we also need to acknowledge is the fact that the 3600 comes with a cooler and it's a pretty good one as well. Now if you're looking for the best overall performance, and you got $200 to spend, it doesn't get any better than this, I'm telling you. So if you have that much to spend here, this is what you want to spend it on. Next up, let's say you have a very strict budget, you actually don't want to spend too much on the processor, you rather save that money for the graphics card. Now in case you're only planning on playing games on this PC, my recommendation falls on the Core i5-9400F from Intel. And speaking of which, the Intel Core i5-9400F, there is no denying that the blue team still is undisputed when it comes to raw gaming performance, at least when we're looking at the most popular current games right now, though it should be said that even though the Core i5-9400F beats many of the red team lineup right now, at least if you're looking at uh, older Ryzen processors, there are a few examples here where AMD is the better choice, but yeah, this all comes down to specific gaming titles. With that said, if you're on a tight budget and you want the cheapest yet fastest processor right at this moment, the 9400F, yeah, with its 6 core and 6 threads, will definitely do the trick for you. Now, stand against the main competitor, the Ryzen 3600, we can see that the 9400 wins in many games. But it's not with a whole lot and if you would pick a PC with a Ryzen 3600 processor right next to a machine with a 9400 running the same game without having an FPS meter to keep track of real time frame rate numbers, you wouldn't really be able to distinguish the difference between them. But why not spend about 33% more and get the 3600 from AMD? Well, if you are on a strict budget, I much rather recommend you to save these $50 and spend it on a better graphics card instead. 
We know that most games benefit a lot more from the graphics card than the CPU. You can get a better experience, you know, lower latency, more FPS and less stutter etc. by simply spending more money on the GPU. Now don't get me wrong here, I'm not saying that the CPU doesn't matter, it is just that games tend to be more GPU bound rather than CPU dependent. Now that all being said, the Core i9 9900K is the king of all processors and so if only the best is good enough, this is as good as it gets. This is what a ridiculous processor that would also require a beefy graphics card in order for this $500 processor to run at its full capacity and so if you have a high-end graphics card the 9900k can be a brilliant choice now this piece sports 8 core and 16 threads with a max boost clock of 5 gigahertz and when it comes to gaming yeah this won't disappoint you however I would only recommend you to buy this one if you want the best of what's out there now something I do want to add that although the 9400F is cheaper, it doesn't come with a cooler and so in case you don't have one, you have to consider that as well. I also made a video covering some of the best budget CPU coolers right now and you can find that video down below. To summarize this, if you got a cooler, the 9400F is better, but again if you don't have a cooler, maybe the 3600 is a better choice, again it's up to you. Lastly, if your budget is only a few hundred dollars for the whole PC build, you simply want to aim for the best price and performance product out there, there is simply no denying that the Ryzen 3600 is the best choice here. Lastly, I want to talk a bit about AMD and Ryzen again because if you're after a dirt cheap processor, you're going to love this one. Now we have talked a lot about affordable choices in this video and if there were to be a king of affordable CPUs, the crown would without a doubt go to the Ryzen 3600. This is a brilliant choice for anyone who wants to spend as little as $118 for the CPU, making it a no-brainer for any budget PC build in 2020. So for $118 you're getting an 8 core and 12 threaded part processor boosting all the way up to 3.9, but make no mistakes here, this isn't Zen 2 and so as you can see, because it's based on AMD's older Zen Plus architecture or second gen Ryzen, we're still sitting on 12 nanometer and what this means is that in terms of IP PC or instructions per cycle, it cannot really compete on the same level with Intel's IPC or AMD's latest Zen 2 architecture, but considering what you pay here, again, this is a $118 versus Intel's best choice $150 US dollars, now the extra money you save here can it then be spent on a beefier graphics card, and the best part is, this is as future proof as it gets, and because it also comes with a cooler, you don't have to spend anything extra for that either. Now there's simply so much value in this product, I can sit and talk about it for days. But yeah, if you wanna save as much as you can, you wanna get the 3600. Yeah, let's do a fast recap while we're looking at some benchmarks. For best overall performance, you wanna pick the Ryzen 3600. Now for best gaming performance, you wanna pick the 9400F, but you don't wanna forget the cooler if you don't have one. Now as a bonus, yes, the 9900K is the best one in the field but you only want to pick this one if you have a high tier GPU to pair it with. Think of it like a Porsche or a Ferrari. Now if you gotta drive one of these cars in order to get the most out of them, you want to serve them with the best available oil and fuel possible, right? Lastly, we got the dirt cheap alternative, the Ryzen 2600 at just over the $100 mark. Now as a bonus, if you want the best badass workload beast there is right now, you want to pick up the the Ryzen 3900X. I actually made a whole video on this one and I'll link that video up down below in case you're interested. Again, all links to each product can be found right down in the video description down below. And with that said, I want to thank you so much for sticking around this long. If you have any questions, you want to post them down in the comments. I'm going to do my best to help you guys out the best way I can. In the meantime, thank you so much for watching this video. Watch either of these two videos for more awesome content. And until next time, you guys have an awesome day, right?